Astros hosting the Cubs, and the Astros are minus 165 on the money line. The Cubs are plus 140 over under seven and a half runs. The Cubs getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 160, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. The Astros laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 135, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Now, Steele did not pitch against the Astros last year. Neither one of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. The Cubs are 6-2 and two as a team with Steele on the mound. They've won his last two starts as a team. He's averaging six innings pitched and 4.9 strikeouts per game in those games. The Astros are also 6-2 and two as a team with Javier on the mound. They've also won his last two starts, and he's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and 6.8 strikeouts per game in those games. Hence the reason why he's probably giving up more home runs, because he's probably trying to strike out more batters, I want to say. Now, head-to-head, -head, the home team is 6-4. and four. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line, and the favorite winning these games by two runs or more, laying a run and a half, is 6-4. and four. There have been four one-run games in their last 10 meetings, uh, two in their last four. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the over-under is 7.5 runs. You guessed it, 5-5. Five and five. Now, the game that they played yesterday, the Astros won 6-4. to four. The game before that, the Cubs won 2-1. to one. The game before that, the Astros won 9-6. The game before that, the Astros won... Six to five. Now, some of those games bled over into the last time that they played each other. Now, the Cubs are one and three in their last four and four and six in their last ten. We've had eight runs, 12 runs, 19 runs, and 10 runs. Six runs in a win, one run in a loss, three runs in a loss, and four runs in a loss. For the Astros, they are four and one in their last five, three and one in their last four, and they are five and five in their last ten. Six runs, four runs, seven runs, ten runs, five runs in a win, one run in a loss, four runs in a win, six runs in a win. I'm going to hedge my bets here to the best of my ability because I honestly believe that the Astros will win this game, but I do think that this game is going to get decided once the starters come out of this game, and that's why the advantage goes to the Astros. So I'm going to take the Astros with the money line. I will take the Cubs getting the run and a half, and I'm going to go under in this game because I believe if these pitchers do what they're supposed to do, this is probably going to be like a 1-0 or a 1-1 kind of game when both of these pitchers come out. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.